Hello, welcome to a new video on giving speeches today. Pronunciation and punctuation. Um, so this video series is to help people with public speaking, presentations, debates, speeches, etc. So let's get started. So you might think punctuation is a writing skill. How can it be used with pronunciation. Well, let's have a look. We're going to listen to and practice with a speech about this guy, Mr. Beast. Maybe you know him from the internet, one of the most popular YouTubers ever. So let's see. So reading aloud or shadowing can be really good pronunciation practice, which is good for your speeches and debates. And remember to pronounce the punctuation. So, here is my short script. Have a look here. First, pause the video, and where you see the yellow highlights, there's some missing punctuation, like comma, full stops, question marks, things like that. So first, pause the video, have a think, what's missing? Okay. Okay, listen to me, listen to my pronunciation, and can you notice what is missing, what punctuation is missing? Ready? Let's go. Have you ever wondered how one person can make a huge difference? Well, let me introduce you to Mr. Beast. He's not just a popular YouTuber, he's also a force for good. How can I make the world a better place? He asked. Mr. Beast's huge acts of kindness, like giving away money and helping communities, show us the power of generosity. His videos entertain millions, but they also inspire us to think about helping others. So, the question is, how can we follow in Mr. Beast's footsteps and spread positivity in our own way. Remember, as he says, it's not about the money, it's about how many people you can help. Okay, pause the video, listen again if you like, or repeat after me. But let's see, what is the missing punctuation? Here are the answers. Okay, so there's questions, there's commas, and colons, quotation marks, um, and full stops, periods for American English. So, did my pronunciation help you notice the punctuation? Well, we often add pauses when we are public speaking, but when? When do we do it? Well, number one, um, after punctuation, like commas or colons, after full stops, and we often pause in the middle of longer sentences, and also to add a bit of emphasis, which is a good skill when you're public speaking. Also, we use a rising intonation. Uh, when? When do we do it? If you're not sure, uh, if you're asking a closed question, like do you, are you, would you, can you? And again, to add emphasis and interest. Also, we have a falling intonation. Uh, so when do we do that? Usually at the end of a sentence. And if you're asking a checking question. So let's have a look at it all together. Okay, you can repeat after me or you can just listen. Have you ever wondered how one person can make a huge difference? Well, let me introduce you to Mr. Beast. He's not just a popular YouTuber. He's also a force for good. How can I make the world a better place? He asked. Mr. Beast's huge acts of kindness, like giving away money, and helping communities, show us the power of generosity. 
His videos entertain millions, but they also inspire us to think about helping others. So, the question is, how can we follow in Mr. Beast's footsteps and spread positivity in our own way? Remember, as he says, it's not about the money, it's about how many people you can help. Okay, by using pauses and rising and falling intonation, you can really make your speeches, your presentations, your debates sound really natural and really uh, easy to understand for the audience. And also, using pronunciation can add some extra meaning. So, for example, pauses can also add extra meaning. So have a look here. Let's eat grandma. Let's eat grandma. What's the difference in meaning? Let's eat grandma. Let's eat grandma. <laughs> so let's eat grandma. Oh no, poor grandma. We're going to eat her. Oh no, that's terrible. But no, we want to say like um, you're asking your grandmother, let's eat together. Let's Let's have dinner. Let's eat, Grandma. <laughs> Don't eat, Grandma. Also, this is a question from the script. So, how can I make the world a better place, he asked. How can I make, sorry, how can I make the world a better place, he asked. There's a slight difference because there's an added pause. A, how can I make the world a better place, he asked. How can I make the world a better place? He asked. So it's slightly different. So if it's with no pause, uh, the speaker might be paraphrasing. So these are not the exact words that were used. But if you use the quotation marks, it's a quote from somebody. So this shows it's exactly what the other person, in this case, Mr. Beast, asked. So. Uh, yeah, using pauses and pronunciation effectively can really make a difference. Okay, that's it for today. Uh, hopefully that was useful. There's another um, video on giving speeches. Check that out. And of course, check out all the other videos. That's it for today. Thank you. Bye-bye.